how do we distinguish whether a pneumonia that a patient has is related to dysphagia? It's the age-old question, at least for people in our profession, of what came first, the chicken or the egg? In other words, did the patient have dysphagia and then develop pneumonia because of dysphagia? Or is the person in the bed that I'm about to evaluate a person with a community-acquired pneumonia, for example, who is so sick that right now at the present they have clear signs of dysphagia caused by the pneumonia. In other words, for dysphagia to cause pneumonia, the patient has to have dysphagia. I know that sounds self-evident, but the point is, without a history of a condition that causes dysphagia, it's very difficult to justify an impression that a patient's current pneumonia was caused by a swallowing disorder. Braille people who live at home and develop community-acquired pneumonia develop an acute dysphagia while they are acutely ill, and that quickly resolves, well, assuming that they are treated well and, and recover, and they re, re, return to their baseline in a reasonable amount of time. So looking at a patient who is acutely ill and whose swallowing function appears impaired has to be done very carefully because that could be a reversible condition. And so the point is that not all pneumonias are related to dysphagia. Signs of pneumonia are found throughout the medical record, looking at the, the various blood work we talked about, the chest x-ray results, the immunological and bacteriological results, the history, and prior medical history in particular, should reveal a cause of dysphagia if it is present. And if there is no cause for dysphagia before the patient developed pneumonia, it is very difficult to conclude that it was the source of pneumonia. And in some cases, we end up concluding that we have, instead of a dysphagia-related pneumonia, a pneumonia-related dysphagia.